just in tonight. This is the man responsible for a deadly shooting at that Westminster Business Park. Jeremy Webster was officially booked into the Adams County Jail, charged with several crimes, including first degree murder after deliberation. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Cohen in for Rob and Elizabeth. And our top story tonight, News 5 has obtained the search warrant affidavit in that deadly shooting. It took place here at 80th and Sheridan Street in Westminster. That's where police say that what we have learned was a case of road rage. 23 year old Jeremy Webster shot a woman and two of her three children, killing one of them. He then shot and injured another man. Now Webster was fleeing the scene. He headed south on I-25 and about two hours later, a Parks and Wildlife officer spotted Webster's vehicle near I-25 and Meadows Parkway in Castle Rock. He was taken into custody there. Now he could have been headed south to his home at an apartment complex off of North Nevada and I-25 near the University Village Shopping Center. And that's where we find News 5's Lena Howland tonight. Lena. Well, Jeremy Webster is in the Adams County Jail right now facing murder charges. We did some digging and we found out based off of voter registration records and his arrest affidavit, we found out that he does live here in Colorado Springs at the Avenir at the Village apartment complex. We are right across the street from UCCS. This is also the complex where he told investigators he kept the box to the gun, which he used in this shooting along with his new medication. Poor babies, you know, um, nobody deserves that. Children, nobody deserves that. Avenir at the village neighbors were shocked to find out they may have been living by the man accused of killing a child and injuring three others in a children's dental parking lot an hour away. Our society's become so outrageous, you know, that you just don't know who you're living by, who you're talking to, you've got to know more about everybody and that's horrible because it's hard to do that. No one seemed to know the accused shooter Jeremy Webster and he isn't a registered student at UCCS but after he was arrested near Castle Rock last night he admitted to police that he was the one who shot a 41 year old mother of three two of her kids and one innocent bystander Thursday afternoon. I heard seven eight very deliberate shots or what sounded like gunshots and I'm like gunshots around here. Megan Bigelow's 13 year old son pronounced dead at the hospital Thursday afternoon. Three others still in critical condition. Webster went on to tell investigators that he has mental health issues and that he just started a newly prescribed medication that day. It's, it's sad that nobody could see what was going on in in his head or maybe he doesn't have anybody. Maybe somebody, you know, he didn't have anybody to recognize that he's got problems. Bigelow's third 12 year old son was able to run into the business safely during the shooting. He told police his mother and Webster were involved in some sort of a road rage incident and Webster followed this family into the dental office parking lot. That's when they got into a brief argument and Webster opened fire. It's pretty scary. It's pretty scary to see these kind of things happening in your own neighborhood. You know, you don't know what to think. Now, the innocent bystander was able to positively identify Webster in a photo lineup. Webster will appear in court for the very first time on, mon on Monday morning. We will let you know what happens. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Lena Howlands, News 5.